Hey guys, hope everybody's doing real good. Um, I wanted to go ahead and uh, put together this short, quick video um, and just show you guys quick and easy how to add a speaker out to your amplifier if you don't have one. Uh, it's very, a very easy mod to do to your amplifier. Um, and uh, let's get started. This is actually, let me show you everything that I used uh, in, my, in my mod and, um, and we'll keep it short and sweet. So uh, a couple of things first. Um, if you're going to make any modifications to your amplifier and the amplifier is still under warranty, you will avoid the warranty. So uh, just be warned, okay? But anyway, this is everything that uh, everything that I used. You don't necessarily have to have all these items, but this is everything that made my life easy. Um, a couple of these you'll definitely need, okay? First, you're going to need a quarter-inch female uh, switched jack, okay? And, uh, well, I'll come back to this in a second. Right, I, I ended up using some quarter inch male jacks. All right, I have a step step bit. Right, got these real cheap at Harbor Freight. I got some uh, 16 gauge uh, stranded copper wire, speaker wire. Okay, and then I've got some 12 gauge copper wire. This is a speaker speaker cable as well. Okay, we've got a little little something to show you guys on the side in a couple of minutes. So uh, let's get started. All right, let's start with the switch first. Okay. All right, so you don't have a speaker out in your amplifier, right? And you want to add one. So you can go ahead and uh, get yourself an external cabinet, right? 112, 212, 412s, right? So in my case, I have a Boss Katana 50, 50 watt, and uh, I have a, also a, a PV Viper 75, the, the uh, Mark I, the very first generation, which is an awesome amplifier. But again, it doesn't have a speaker out. I wanted to add one to that amplifier as well. So, um, so this is how I did it, right? So... You know, uh, get yourself to Amazon and uh, buy a bunch of these or buy a couple of these. These are real cheap, you know, uh, probably like, you know, I don't know, 80 cents a piece. I, I got these for like like uh, 10 bucks for like 20, all right, in a nice big bag. So um, what these are is a quarter inch, nothing super special. It's a PCB mounted quarter inch female, uh, what they call a switched jack, okay? And the reason it's a switch jack is because, let me grab my quarter inch male connector, is when you insert your speaker cable in there, right? Those little contacts are raised. You can see that, right? And it, it opens and closes that connection, all right? So it basically has some clips at the end, right? This is the closed end, right? So when you insert your cable, the circuit, the circuit's broken. Okay. Well, it's it's not it's broken on this side, right? So it stops the, the flow of energy on this side, and then it's being redirected through your cable. All right. Anyway, with that in mind, it's real simple to do. Okay. So you go you go into your amplifier. Now, in my Boss Katana Fifty, what I have is two connections, right? We have my positive, which is a red connection, and I have a negative, which is a black cable, right? You go into your amplifier. You take those connections, you run them through the amplifier up to the inside, right? You're obviously going to have to open up your amplifier and pull out the chassis, right? But it's real real easy to do. You'll be able to do this mod in a couple of minutes. You take your positive and your negative connection, and you're going to wire them to the switch. So those connections, those two connections from the circuit board, are going to get soldered to that closed side of the switch, okay? Now, where you put them is important, okay? So... Your quarter inch male connector, this is the tip, which is the positive, and this is the sleeve, which is negative, okay? So when you insert that into your into your switch, right, your positive is in the rear of the switch, and your negative, your sleeve, is out here, right? The outside. Okay, so you're going to wire, right, in my case, right, my red cable, my positive cable is going to go to this connector, and my black cable, my sleeve, is going to go to that connector, okay? So, again, the speaker wires from that you just pulled through the amplifier, right, that go from the circuit board, right, are going to go connected to that right side of the switch, the closed side, all right? On this side here, you're going to cut yourself two small lengths of wire. They're going to run back out to the speaker. So you're going to want to make them about that length that you have on the other side, right, that you finish pulling through the amplifier. And you're going to mirror exactly what you just soldered on this side. You're going to mirror that on this side. So your positive wire, the red, is going to go there, right? 
and your negative is going to be black, right? In my case is black, so my negative is going to go here. So positive in the front, negative in the rear, right? So you should have two red cables, right, in the front, and two black cables in the back. That's it. Your switch is all wired up. Good to go. Okay? So all you got to do now is now the other ends of that cable, you can either solder them to the, you know, positive. Make sure you remember what's positive and what's negative on your speaker. You can put some spade connectors, which are these guys right here, something like this. You know, you can put them at the end of those, the cable you ran through, right? And you can reconnect, the, reconnect that to the speaker, okay? And you're golden, all right? So uh, you're, you have, you'll have an active, right, a, not a fully operational active speaker out. So if you get yourself a cabinet and a speaker cable, all right, and um, when you insert that speaker cable in there, your internal speaker is going to be disabled and your cabinet is going to be, uh, is going to be what's functioning, okay? You're going to hear the sound through the, through the speaker, obviously, right? And then dis to disengage it and re-engage your internal speaker, all right, just disconnect your, your cabinet, all right? So, very important to make sure that you match the impedance of the cabinet, okay? So, in my case, the both amplifiers are 8 ohm, so I'm going to want to get an 8 ohm cabinet, okay? Or 16 ohms. I never want to go lower than 8 ohms. So, 4 ohms is no good. You can't use that, okay? So, it's 8 ohms or 16 ohms. Otherwise, you'll damage your amplifier, okay? So, all right. So, that's how easy, <coughs> excuse me, that's how easy it is, all right? Quarter inch female switch jacks. Amazon, real cheap. All right. And um, OK, so that's that part. So that's real easy. Right. You get yourself a step bit uh, from like Harbor Freight. This was a couple of dollars. Right. This is um, you don't really need this, but I recommend it. Um, and the reason for that is because it drills. It drills. Uh, it's very controlled. It won't you know, it won't uh, you know, slip and slide around and damage the front of your chassis or anything like that. Or uh, the back of your chassis. Right. It won't. Um, Oh, I forgot what the term is. It won't, um, yeah, it won't slide anyway. So, and you can see because of these steps, it drills very controlled holes in the, uh, in the chassis. So you're going to want to go to about seven sixteenths. It's, it, this is marked to be four half inch. Okay. And, uh, that's just going to be the correct di diameter hole for the, uh, for the jack to poke through. All right. So uh, the last part, oh, so I can go ahead and finish off. I don't want to keep you guys too long, but the last part is if you don't have a cabinet, I used both, since both amplifiers are 8 ohm, I built this uh, with the 12 gauge speaker cable. This is why I bought that. I kind of, I built this uh, speaker cable out of that and I used two spade connectors on that side, right? And I have one positive side, one negative side. That goes to the speaker of the one of the amplifiers, and then when I want to test this, when you use the speaker uh, of, you know, the speaker, I want to test the speaker in the, you know, uh, one of the amplifiers, the amplifier that I connect this to, the, uh, the speaker connections, right, I don't turn that amplifier on, I use it as a cabinet, and then I can use this in the speaker out of the amplifier that's on, all right, and vice versa, you know, that's just a quick, quick test connection, but it's also a very use, useful cable to have around. Um, so I kind of made that. That was real simple to do. Um, and it's very easy to wire in case you don't already know. I'm sure you do, right? Is, um, the positive goes to the center. Same thing like your switch, right? Positive to the center. And the sleeve, which is negative, goes to the, the sleeve here, okay? Uh, this comes with a little shield, a little plastic shield inside. You can cover the connection and insulate it. And you're good to go. All right. So if you guys have any questions or anything, you guys can hit me up on YouTube, send me a message, and uh, I will definitely respond. But that's how easy it is. You don't need anything super fancy. A couple of dollars on Amazon, right? Get yourself some switch jacks, uh, some uh, speaker wire and speaker cable, and you'll have a working uh, speaker out in any amplifier you want, pretty much, um, whenever you want. All right. You guys take care. God bless. And talk to you soon.